Good morning, Uncle Dorkle. Yes, Uncle Dorkle is in the shed waiting. Um, we're going to write out the um, surgery part of the next skit we do with Uncle Dorkle. There's no way I can do that. I'm not going to bother somebody to have them do stuff that I should be creating on my own. Because, all right, um, I painted the steps. Now, if you look, this is the oil-based paint right here that I used on the threshold because I had to add some wood here because I kept tripping on the lip here going into the shed. You notice it's purple. That's what I'm talking about. That's, why, that's the way the picnic table looks. That is the bare oil base that I had Home Depot made up from the redwood color here. You can see the big difference. That looks purple to me. But I wanted oil base on the threshold because that piece that I got here, that is half inch plywood and I didn't want it to delaminate. This is pressure treated, but this isn't. The steps, the two by tens or two by 12, that's two by 12, um, is pressure treated. So that's got the cheap stuff on it. I also touched the base up under the window boxes. Window boxes are falling apart here. It's not pressure treated wood. The ramp for the snowblower and the lawnmower. Uh, I added lattice to the sides. I braced up because it was sagging. Now this ramp is basically temporary. There's only two screws holding the top end and there's four pins in there, stainless steel pins that it drops down. So this can be removed. So, this is pressure treated. I put in years ago, this was pressure treated, and I put the sand paint on that so you don't slide on that. So, I had some leftover lattice just to make it look a little better. It won't keep out the squirrels, but there's no big deal. I mean, they can get up. What will not get under the shed is uh, skunks or. Uh, Let's see, skunks and uh, raccoons are too big to go through that. So, um, that's what I did yesterday. Um, this is the end of the bear number nine. And I just threw junk in it. Um, they say you can throw this into the recycle, uh, not in the recycle, in the trash. There's no paint in there. There's just junk in there that I put in. And of course you saw this already. Here on the uh, front uh, walkway, this is the uh, bear number nine. That watercolor stuff that I told you about. That's what I usually put on the walkway. This walkway is has been put in years ago. It's uh, 16 foot um, Two by pressure treated two by fours and pressure treated uh, boards that uh, my former neighbor of years ago brought to me. And I did all the steps here using the cheap stuff and sand paint on here. So only the flooring has been done. I didn't do the walls or anything. I got to clean all that off. It's pretty dirty in there. And eventually, I will be painting this again. This paint here uh, is uh, house paint. I can't. I think it's Sherwin Williams. It's latex, but it's regular house paint. It's really, really good. There's no problem with using this kind of paint on the verticals. I will have to paint this. You can see it's getting fungus on it, but this is very hard to paint. I usually stick cardboard behind it and paint that and again with the good quality paint and stuff like that up here it's in good shape this is a, a good quality paint right here that I have to pay big dollars for now if I want to use that again 
Okay, Tommy's going to be shooting a few baskets. I think the park is still closed, so we're not even going to try to go there. It's very hard because he's got. He would like to have somebody play with him, you know, a game, but you can't do that nowadays. I'll tell you, America's going to be getting fat, sitting around the house, not getting exercise, not getting fresh air, breathing the germs in and out from your house, and breathing your carbon dioxide into your mask. It's unhealthy. Um, I went and got some hamburger buns. They didn't have them on the uh, Peapod delivery from Stop and Shop. They're always out of. They did not have any hamburgers, so we had to take out some out of the freezer that we had. And we're going to be doing some, uh, a cookout. I might have Hack Bar do it. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. I might do that skit, but I'm not sure. But as I said, Uncle Dorkle's uh, surgery uh, is going to be written out of the script. Um, I got enough thing. <clears throat> Yeah, it's going to be <clears throat> written out of the script because, uh, you know, with my projects going on and, you know, making videos and stuff, which I enjoy doing, I'm just not equipped uh, and don't have the knowledge to do stuff like that. So I keep my skits very, very simple, uh, using maybe sometimes two cameras, one on me, one on Hackbar and stuff like that. Uh, that's the only way I can do it, and, uh, you know, as long as it, people appreciate it and like the uh, skits, I'll continue doing them. All right. <clears throat> that's it. We'll catch you all later. Tommy's going to be shooting some baskets out here, and I am going to get ready to do some editing on this here and get this video out to you. And... If all goes well, later on today, I may have a hack bar skit for you. I'm not 100% sure yet, so...